Hello formats, this is Mahesh and in this video I will show you how you can apply coded fixed value boundary condition in open form. So in one of my previous video I have explained how to use coded mixed boundary condition. If you have not watched that video I will recommend you to watch that because I will copy the same tutorial case to explain coded fixed value boundary condition. You can see I am already in my home folder. Let me dive into the run folder. And we will copy this uh, coded mixed boundary condition as uh, coded fixed value. Let me do that. Home clone case. Coded mixed as coded fixed value. Let me move into this folder. Coded fixed. Okay. Let me open this T file. So earlier we used coded mixed. Now we want to use coded fixed value boundary condition. And we don't require this stuff. I think we need to have add this value uniform zero it's a default value and uh, let's not change the name also and uh, we'll remove this stuff we don't require it okay let me create the mesh Mesh okay, let me open it. Paraform. Let's not read these fields. So we will apply our boundary condition to this top patch. So we will apply a sinusoidal varying boundary condition. Let me open uh, GNU plot. So you can see the domain the domain is at 273 Kelvin and even the boundaries are at 273 Kelvin. So we will uh, so it will be we want a Y shift of 273 Kelvin and let's say an amplitude of 100 and we need a pe period of 2 pi right so since our domain length is 0 0.1 meter will be 2 times pi over 0 0.1 i guess times x okay it's fine let me set the range set x range from 0 to 0 0.1 meter let me replot ok so we will apply this boundary condition so at x equal to 0 you will have a 273 kelvin and even at uh, x equal to 0 0.1 you will have the same value because it's a period of it has a period of 2 pi so we will apply this boundary condition let me close this terminal okay, let it be let me clear it Okay, let me move on to Doxygen. Coded fixed. Fit patch. We'll see the usage. So its type is coded fixed value and its value uniform zero. It's a default value, you can put anything. And the name we have mentioned coded patch BC. Okay. 
okay so since we want to apply a sinusoidal varying boundary condition we need to have access to the cell centroids sorry phase centroids so but if you see none of the functions declared here will give you the phase centers so since this class got inherited from this class we will search in this class also even we don't find it here so let me move to this class so okay i think you will find it here so we have this patch method it is basically you know returning your fe patch so once you have this object of fe patch i guess you can access the face center see if you apply this method it will return you i mean it is returning the face centers and that's what we need so so first we need to access this okay first we will you know we need this constant constant it's fe patch and remember it's uh, returning a reference and let me call it as uh, sorry patch and that is equal to so we are using this pointer i explained about this pointer in the previous video and we will apply this patch method so once you have this patch you can access this cf and it and it is returning a reference to this vector field so i mean vector field is nothing but a list of vectors right so let me take that it's constant vector field and it is returning a reference and we call it as cf and that would be equal to we already have this patch and let's call that method using this patch object cf actually you can do this in a single step but i won't uh, recommend you because uh, you will confuse Okay. Now you have access to the face centers, and what else we need? So we need a domain length, right? Let me declare it and initialize. Constant scalar length will equal to zero point one meter. And I guess that's all I we need. And we will use this for all loop given by open form. And we will pass the CF object and a loop counter I. So we have you know this CF is uh, holding the reference to this uh, object uh, CF. And the CF is a vector field so basically it's a list of vectors and from that we need just a x value right so for that okay let me do it in this way and you know since uh, we <clears throat> we want to apply boundary condition to this uh, coded patch we need that object and for that we need to declare this constant sorry it's not constant it should be scalar field because our temperature is a scalar field sorry so it's a scalar field and we need to take the reference 
let's call it as field and that is equal to we just dereference this pointer and we will assign to this object field and we can assign the boundary conditions using this object so field of i would be 273 plus 100 times the sign of uh, I guess it's 2 pi over L 2 pi over L times your x but how will you access the x coordinate of your face centers so you have this object cf and it is referring to this uh, face centers uh, face centers what i should say method and it's a vector field so it's a vector field is nothing but a list of vectors right so i guess you can access the cf since it's a vector field and uh, for a vector you have x component y component and z component so we can call this method i guess let's close this i think that's all we need to do let's let me test the case here we have nothing here let me go into the control deck so we want to simulate it for let's say 10 seconds because we need a steady state kind of solution let's del reduce this delta t okay, and we want to run we want to write uh, data after two seconds sorry let's save this and close it and let me run the solver flash and form i hope it should work okay so it ran fine so it did not throw us an any error let's go to the paraform and read this file let me reload the files and st surface let me directly jump into the last time step okay here you can see so we'll use a plot over line along x-axis at uh, let's say 0 0.1 copy it's applied so we are applying this uh, sinusoidal varying boundary condition to this top patch let me close it let me clear the terminal okay so that's all i got for you in this video and I will attach the link of this tutorial case in the description and please connect with me on LinkedIn and I hope my explanation was clear if you find this video informative and if you want more content on OpenFoam please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you